You know it's okay to be scared, right? Are you gonna tell me what this is all about? Yes. Yes, absolutely. You've killed before. You killed again. I see what you did there. There are things in the corners of this world. Help me! They'll drive you insane. A new generation of horror has arisen from the dead. the way it's supposed to be. Oh yeah. <coughs> hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the R show. Josh here. I want to talk to you tonight about uh Shudder's new reboot of the Creep Show uh property called Creep Show, of course. And uh, Creepshow is a six episode double anthology series. One episode released every week until the show's over. Um, two, so it's basically one episode, two stories per episode. Uh, and it's styled it after the original movie, um, which was the brainchild of Stephen King and George A. Romero. Uh, if you haven't heard of that, um, if you're a horror fan, there's no way you haven't. But uh, Maybe you're a new horror fan or not really a horror fan, but if you haven't seen that movie, it's from 1982. Fantastic, three stories all together in one movie. Um, stars the likes of Leslie Nielsen and Adrian Barbeau and Ted Danson. Uh, really great, a lot of fun. And the new Shutter series absolutely captures that initial spirit that was conceived by Stephen King and George A. Romero. I've been watching, this has dropped like three episodes so far on Shudder, and I have to say it's absolutely fantastic. Greg Nicotero from the world famous KNG effects shop, um, who's been slowly over the years moving into TV through The Walking Dead on AMC. No surprise, Greg Nicotero is front, uh, the front runner and the showrunner on this thing because Greg Nicotero must have made some really good ties with AMC. Now AMC is a parent company that owns Shudder. So I'm sure they put some kind of deal together for Greg, or maybe Greg Nicotero uh, proposed this. Maybe he pitched it to the, you know, the corporate suits at AMC and said, hey, this is, there's an audience for this. People want it. And they're like, well, we don't want to do it on AMC. It's maybe not our thing, but you know, we own Shudder. We can try it out there and see how it goes. Now, as a big horror fan, and most of you guys know, obviously, our rated horror commentary podcast and the R rated show, uh, I'm a huge fan of Creep Show, and I was really, really hoping they weren't going to fuck this up because so many times when they try to bring something back or reboot it, they screw it up somehow. And I have to say, Greg Nicotero, who's a true horror fan and has dedicated his life to working in the genre of horror, um, nailed it. it i think the show is really good in its tone and the way it's presented it has a really great um uh opening segment that harkens right back to the original movie with the creep and the cartoons and the puppets and it's just really really cool i really enjoyed it from the very first episode i thought the minute the opening towel came out i was like they got it right thank god now granted we're only halfway through the first season so it could shit to bed but i seriously doubt it i mean it seems like it's being helmed in a very loving and, and thoughtful way because greg nicotero i have no doubt at all as a huge creep show fan considering that he has ties with george a romero from way back from his childhood and you know i'm sure he wanted to do it right and um by all means they nailed it now the show brings back some 
who are favorites, Adrian Barbeau, Jeffrey Combs, Tobin Bell, just to name a few. And it also brings back the tone, the Stephen King tone and the campiness of, you know, what you would expect to see from like a 50s, 60s horror comic. And it never, it never goes over the line. It never goes to gore fest. I actually have seen some comments online from people saying, oh, you know, it's so tame. And I know we've been really spoiled nowadays with the way the slashers are made and with movies like Hostel and Saw and everything's just crazy. This is not what the show is about. You're missing the point. The show is about recapturing the spirits of the creepy comics that came out in that time era. So yeah, they are campy and they're a little, they're very PG, PG-13. And I think that you just need to look at it through that lens and appreciate it for it being that. Just some creepy stories, you know? It's not trying to outdo the walking dead or whatever the latest trend is in horror you know it's not trying to be the next uh, human centipede or something you know it's just good can't be fun for horror fans and nostalgia for sure so um like i said the original movies first one came out in 82 creep show 2 which is a fan favorite the raft is a segment that i think none of us will forget anytime soon were the originals that inspired this TV show on Shudder, and it's definitely a fucking thumbs up for me. Check it out on Shudder. I just want to say one thing about Shudder is they really upped their game lately, um, bringing back Joe Bob Briggs and giving the fans some really great content on their site. It makes the the money that you you pay for a monthly fee to access it really worth it in my opinion. Um, not that I'm a shill for sh Shudder or whatever. And I signed up for Shudder right around, right before Joe Bob Briggs brought back his 12 episode, The Last Drive-In, right? With Darcy Mill Girl. I signed up for that because I knew it would be epic and it was. They really gave us what the fans wanted and that really set the tone, I think, for Shudder. It kind of ri righted them in the right direction to go, let's listen to the fans. Let's just give the fans what they want. Let's show them that we can appeal to a true horror fan. And horror fans really are hardcore about what we like and don't like and we don't fuck around with our content so it seems to me that Greg Nicotero and Shudder understand that Shudder's really brought an A game around and I've been a subscriber since uh, Joe Bob Brooks came back and I've really enjoyed the content on there it's fun it's it's a fun site to to subscribe to so uh, Creep Show definitely recommend it check it out pick it up uh, on Shutter, if you haven't seen it yet, and um, that's my review. So, until next time, guys, stay awesome, stay R rated. Cheers. Hey, guys, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Uh, we've got a lot of great content coming for you this year. We've got reviews for movies, comics, and more. And of course, we will always have fan commentaries for the movies you love, lots of uh, talk about horror, and uh, just mainstream pop culture in general and uh, probably some Star Wars stuff leading up to Rise of Skywalker. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button, hit the bell for notifications, and uh, yeah, become a fan of the channel. Let's hear what you want to see. Leave a comment below, and uh, just let me know what you think. All right, guys, talk to you later.